And a very good morning to you. I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Wednesday morning, the 12th of October, the year 2022. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. Luke chapter 14, and I'm starting to read from verse 28. This is Jesus speaking. For which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish it, lest after he has laid the foundation, he is not able to finish. All who see it begin to mock him. We need to first count the cost before we commit to get involved in anything. Don't pick on something that you can't finish. Make sure your eyes are not bigger than your stomach. <laughs> you know, it is very offensive to go out to a restaurant and to receive a beautiful dish of food from the chef, one that you have dished up for yourself, and then you're not able to finish the food. Don't do that because that's very offensive. My little grandchildren all know that Kulu, that's me, the Zulu word for grandfather, know that when they come to my house, they can eat as much as they like. But they need to understand one thing. Everything on that plate will be eaten. Nothing will be left. Why? Well, probably the way I was brought up. There's too many hungry people around the world. So if you can't finish the food, then take a smaller portion. If you can't afford to buy something, young man, then don't buy it. If you can't pay for it, don't buy it. That's how you get yourself into trouble. When you commit to follow Jesus Christ, it will be the most important decision of your entire life. It comes at a huge price. That is why when I make an altar call at an event, at a rally, I always take my time. I'm not too concerned about the soft music and the closing of the eyes and slipping up the hand now. Because that person, when they make that commitment, they have to follow through with it. So they must count the cost first. It comes at a huge price. You could lose your friends. You could be mocked and criticized after you make that commitment. But on the flip side of the coin, I want to tell you, you'll be involved in building something that will never collapse. You'll be investing in something that will never crash. You will bring joy and security and peace to your life that nothing in this old world can offer. So why don't you start today? and build a house that you'll see the completion in heaven one day. Jesus bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.